We are always glad for every opportunity we have to worship our God. Welcome to the worship experience. I am Pastor Deborah Omale. God is searching for worshipers to worship him in spirit and in truth. People whose lives give glory to God, no matter the situation they find themselves. Today, we will be joined by a worshiper whose life has shown the world that worship to God cannot be stereotyped. The presence of God that is felt whenever he ministers shows the level of indwelling of the Spirit of God in him. The worship experience today is graced with a deep-spirited praise and worship leader, Testimony Jagger. After this break, we will meet with a man who has called God the most names ever. Join me in welcoming Testimony Jagger. You are welcome you to so the much, worship man. experience. Thank you so much. Thank man. you so much for honoring thank our invitation. You. I know how busy you are. <laughs> I'm grateful. But man. you came. We thank, thank God you, for that. So before we get into the worship experience proper, I would like to ask you some questions that I know I and including some of your fans will be interested in knowing about you. So when you hear the word worship, what comes to your mind? What comes to my mind is um, relationship. Mm. My relationship with my father. Because we are not just created to this world to do our own thing. We are created to this world to give him worship. So it's, it's, to me it's a relationship between me and my father. That's why I like to praise God the way I feel, the way he, 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 you know, the way he, he revealed himself to me. I don't want to praise God the way one sister or brother is facing God. I want to call him name that is between both of us. You know, names that are not common. Because some people know him as Jehovah, Nancy, Jehovah. I can call him Jehovah, be careful. You know? <laughs> so that is the relationship between Jehovah, my father. Jehovah, be careful. Yeah, I like you that. You don't touch me anyhow. Yeah. Because my, my father is not joking <laughs> with me. That's very <laughs> so easy. Just so a relationship. So for you, it's a relationship. Okay, yes, I would like to ask this as well. Your expression of worship is rare. Yes, ma'am. It is unique. It is spectacular. It is different. Yeah. Once we hear you anywhere, even without seeing a video, we know who is ministering. So, what you know, what inspires that kind of lifestyle of worship? Yeah, because um, I, I I will say this: um, all thanks to God Almighty and the Spirit of God Himself and my Father in the Lord, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakilo, and that's my father. You know, there was a time I listened to some of my father. There was one particular message when Pastor was talking about be a musician with a difference. Mm. So I, I found out that, okay, you know what? Everybody is doing this. I said, Lord, you know, I'm, from where I'm coming from, the Spirit of God told me not to stop the style because I was once a secular artist. Mm. I said, Lord, this is my style of music. You wanted to be you. I said, it's not accepted here, especially when you are coming from my own ministry where everything is phony. You know what I mean, phony, exactly. pure English, no yes. Yoruba, no vernacular. I said, how am I gonna cope? God says, don't worry, I know how to make it work. So when I came, I was like, it's like a joke. So when I keep on doing what I want to do, I have my way of, the way I want to look, the way I want to sound, so no matter what everybody's saying, I focus. Focus. So by... I like that word. <laughs> yeah. I have a book on that. <laughs> wow, focus. So I, I know focus. what you're talking about. So in fact, so <laughs> sometimes they will call me to come. If they want to laugh, it's when they call me. They're just like, where's that young guy that make all of us jump up and, ah. and laugh? But they were laughing. I was doing my own thing because I realized I'm not giving my worship to them. I'm giving it to the one that created them. All of them watching mm. me. So. I just, I, God is the one that have guided me. The Spirit of God has been the one that guided me with our Father's message that makes me locate myself in this world, locate mm. my, my stand and my, my star, you know. So I, and I give God thanks. And Amazing. You know, when you listen to the Word of God, it shapes you. Yes. So I Amazing. came rough, but the Word of God is the way it shapes you. Shaped you. <laughs> Yes, so um, I want you to share, your name itself stands out, yeah. Testimony Jagger. Jaga, yeah. I would like you to, Talk more about your name and you know share with us your own testimony. Okay, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I came from a Muslim background, 
you know, from a family of 27, I'm, 20, I'm 22. Wow. I have my senior brother here uh, is 21 in position. So we have like um, 20, you know, six Others. wives, you know, <laughs> you know. So, but thank God for my mother, you know. You know, at the time, my mom have to move all of us away from my dad just because, you know, the you know, polygamous family, you, you know, come in different, attack left and right, you know. But from my childbirth, you know, from my growing up with the story that my mother, you know, told me, then, you know, to add it with my own experience, then I know I'm a truly testimony. You know, this is, a, this is a, a boy that my mom told me, you know, when she gave back to me the day of our, my baby dedication, you know, I passed out for eight hours. Mm. So they passed out for eight hours, you know. There was already a prophecy that, you know, this child is coming, you don't touch this child. You know, being a Muslim background, you know, they like the way of the cut, you know, perhaps a child here, yeah, whatever, all this stuff. All so the day of my, uh, my mom told me the day of the baby dedication, so the Afas, because Muslim, all these people, mm. the shows are already around. So they came to pick me up. They, they just realized that my enemy was cold. So they cried. Everybody at the time they gave up. So they decided to go and you know put me on the ground. The, the, that's what my mom told me. The first sound that was poor on me. Then I you know I snakes. So I became you know you know came back to life it and a testimony. testimony. But when I was growing up. I was facing little challenges, you know, I couldn't do some things that other children were doing. So that really, you know, so everybody referred back to the, what Incident. happened to this child when he was going on? What happened to this child? There was a lot of stuff about that. So they were trying to use the past. Yeah, to because everywhere we prayed, they were like, future. somebody tamper with this young guy, mm. you know. But to God be the glory, my God, I call him Jehovah Ronaldo. You know, sometimes it divides people's attention to this side, but mm. the way he's working is on this he's side. On this so side. all of you will focus here, my God will come up from there. Praise God. You know, so the enemy was putting the attention on another side of me. Nobody saw me singing. None of my generation is, has been a musician. Mm. Nobody. So growing up, you know, growing up to be a very stubborn boy, 2011, that's when I get my life to cry. I came out of jail. You know, I went to prison. I came out. So while I was there, everybody, even my mom would come sometimes and say, you. You don't even act like you're inside prison. Everybody is calling you a musician here. Yeah. I said, ah, this is what I know how to do. But while I was there, I gave my life to Christ through one prison, you know, guy. Oh. Yeah, you know, the guy too, just a fellow, you know, we're all there together. I'm like, ah, God wants to use the young man. Oh, if you come out of here, so I make that promise to God that God, if I leave this place, I'm going to serve, serve you. you. You know, but the name came 2015 mm. when my mom called me, told me that God, she had, a, she had a dream that God asked me to pray for a change of name. Because the name I was bearing that time is the one, bring, you know, the name that children bears, you know, matters. Mm -hmm. You know, my name in Muslim is actually something that makes trouble. So they oh. needed a changing of name. So I was praying that night. I think me and my senior brother, then we were doing one cleaner at, you know, Island in Lagos. We were just there, you know, praying in the middle of the night because my mom trained us with prayer. We were praying, praying, praying. And I heard the name, testimony. Nobody gave me the name, no pastor gave me the name. I, it's something I heard. You know, but I never knew the meaning. So I was just, I, just, I was just telling my guy, don't call me that one name again. My name now is Testimony. I was not even a Christian then. Hmm. So even when I was doing my circular music, I was still bearing testimony. Yes. But since that aside, my name changed to Testimony. There's something about me. I started having patience. Before, I don't care. I was, you know, and you know, being a boxer in Lagos, you know, you just try to survive. Everything is just, yes. I'm a rough guy, you know. You know, not that probably my father is not okay, but you know, a child I grown up with mother, I just leave everybody like everybody wants to survive. You know, so but I got myself into that mess that time. It's not like because I, I I've never been a, you know a thief or try to steal something. You know, I, st I went to a place because from some people watching, they're like, well, we think good do for prison. I'm not a, I'm not a thief. You know, I just want to survive. Yeah. You know, so I you know being a, a young artist. Some people will give you some card. Ah, come, come and see me in my office. So I met this young guy, you know, in a club. I'm like, come and see me in my house. So I see, ah, I like you. I would like to encourage you. Like, to, I know this one. I know that one. I do. I said, okay. Looking at the man pictures everywhere. You know, you see the general. I don't even know he's a fake general. You know, so I was just <laughs> there. I said, the young guy want to survive. You know, you don't. You will not believe what of the man is. You know, just. So one day I was in the house. So I would go to the house. You know, because of the training I received from my mother, I cannot live in. You know. If somebody that is an elderly person house without you sweeping or doing one or two things. Household so I try to clean up, yes. you know, so that morning, that night, 
I was sleeping. I slept in the man's house overnight. So his younger brother came to the house. Mm. And his younger brother was a Navy, naval officer. So when he came, around 12 a.m., I went to go open the door. So I saw the car the guy brought into the compound, stained, you know, full of blood and stuff like that. So I thought maybe, you know, what these soldiers, when they are coming from road, maybe somebody mm. trying to, I, my mind was not really going to, but I slept that night. The kind of dream I had, I woke up, because, you know, being, growing up, my mother would tell you, if you see this kind of thing, this one, so, you know, in Yoruba, we believe that when you see snail in your mm. dream, especially when you are playing with snails, like a setback. Back. So I, 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 got, I, I saw myself pack a snail, you know, play the snail. So I called, when I woke up, I called my mother. I said, Mom, she said, okay, you have to come to the house to pray. Let's pray, let's come out, because any small thing fast. I said, okay. So I was trying to clean up the house. So the guy left early in the morning, around six. I saw him, you know, because of that dream, I couldn't, you know, continue mm. my... So I said, okay, let me just clean up the kitchen. Okay. Before you know, around seven, I saw the guy came back to the compound. Like, ah. I said, bro, ah, what happened? He said, the car stopped on the road, on the street. I said, I said, I should come and help him, you know, pushing the car with the other guy. So I just, that morning, you know, I just came out. But I just noticed some guys were standing, you know, standing outside. I never knew their sass, you know, I don't know whatever sass, mm. you know, because I've never been in trouble before. So I saw them. So my mind was not really focused. So I, while we are pushing the car, I never knew that the police were already around. Mm. You know, so immediately we put the car back to the compound. The police started shooting. So not even knowing that some of the guys that were pushing the car with us, they, they are the armor of us that the guys were using. So I don't know. So everybody started jumping first. I was like, if I jump first, if they fire me, I just start, you know, I was there. And the room I slept, I never knew the, guy, the bag that the guy put, you know, in the room. In the room. There was a gun inside, two guns, two pieces. You know, the Spirit of God is perfect. I don't even know what I, So, where I look, so the, because of the gun, so I ran inside with, you know, fear. Thank God his own elder brother came around. So both of us were inside the house together. I, I don't know what to do. I was running up and down. And I was, then I would say, Spirit, don't something push me. The Spirit of God pushed me. So just carried the bag. So immediately I just carried the bag. I was trying, I just saw the two pieces on like, huh? And I know when you know when you are arrested with a gun, I know what they will do to you. So, so God be glory. I don't know. Am I? You know, tension. Yeah. You know, as a young guy, when you feel tension, the next thing I want to you want to go to toilet. You know, all those kind of tension toilet <laughs> mode. <laughs> and I was just, I said, Lord, but God guided me. So being a sharp guy, you know, the to the, 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 the 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 restroom, you know. That was there. There's, there's, there's this, this is not just normal pipe. It's all this shifting pipe. Mm. So I moved the, you know, I, it's just God. You know, I don't know how oh. the brain came and everything. Mm -hmm. The wisdom came, but thank God for the spirit of God. So I moved the pipe away. So I messed up the whole place. So even if you open the place, you, will not, you cannot even when you exactly. the smell alone will make it wrong. You know, I, I, I have to say that I share my testimony wrong. That's how you know God did it. So I cannot hide it. So I was just there. So they, immediately that thing happened, the police came inside. So where is the gun? Where is that? I do this. Slapping me. And so we got, I got, we got to the poli first police station. You know, when I got there, I now realized that the car, somebody was shot. Then the car that was stolen was, you know, the, the, the car belongs to the, the in-law of one of the ex-presidents of Nigeria. So the case was not a baby case. So you, it's not a case of you know somebody, you have yeah. to have patience. So at the time, <laughs> the first place, two weeks, I spent two weeks, I learned one lesson. One midnight, they just came again, pick me up with handcuff in my hand. I just said, they said, the guy don't tell us, say you do a thief. I said, oh God, me, I no thief. Now I'm say, I be. I don't, I help, I find, go die house. I don't know how I tell this year. You, you go die. I said, okay. If it is how, God, you are here. My mother did not have anybody. We are just, just me. My father heard, he said, no, he's not coming. If I'm a thief, I would die there. You know, he doesn't care, man. You have a lot of children, so nobody really cares. Woo. And my mommy, has, my mommy has, you know, took us about 15 years. Nobody's seen us. So mm. the first time you are hearing from us is about arm robber. You know, that kind of, you know, yes. the, our father, the kind of African mm. father that we have. So 
go there two weeks and move away to another place three weeks move away to another place everything is midnight i don't even know sometimes i will be in one particular police station uh, this later when they move me they'll say i'm coming from a cage i say hey, okay we're just going i call it prison tour in a cell tour just going but at the, at the end of the day so god be the glory a lady came from nowhere she went to my mom and said i heard that your son is being arrested for something he said the guy that stole the car is his own boyfriend that is going to help my mom to look for the guy from nowhere I can't see the lady to now. So while she was talking to my mom, my mom brought her to, uh, to, to the SAS office, whatever. Then the lady was working with the SAS. After the lady showed up, two weeks after, they caught the first guy. The, that is the guy, that, the, the man that slept in his house, his younger brother that stole the car because he ran doing that incident. Mm. They caught the guy, I think some, uh, they, caught, they caught the guy around Bene, border. When they brought the guy, the man in charge, the officer in charge, said, like, this guy must leave here tomorrow or next tomorrow. You're looking for money? Say, you should go and look for 150, I think about 200. Why we're just looking for money? Somebody just said, I will pay for him. Mm. But we don't have anybody. My mom has already spent all our money running up and down. So that second day I was bailed, you know, the third day, nation newspaper pick up the, the whatever. I was like, okay. So if my face is on that newspaper, how many people will I tell today that I'm not an ex am robber? So, you know, then I came out. I don't have where to go. My, I don't even have anything to do. I gave up on music. So I said, okay, what's come to us? So I go into boxing, just doing, to survive Everything one day. I was just going, survive. yeah, going on the road and a lady, one sister, God will bless her for me. So beautiful. Just call me. I just gave me a big, you want to invite me to church? Me, because I'm very, very rude, you know. I was just angry. You know, the boy that does not have money, you Especially don't have Especially with everything. You know, everything I've gone through, I, said, I beg you, with church. But I, I, you know, part of me, I love God because I know what God has done. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm just looking for the, the, that direction. I don't want to go to anyhow. Mm. You know, I don't want to mention the church that I left the whatever whatever thing but god have his own plan mm. so i was just there went to church that sunday she called me and i was she forced me she just let me get into the church the message the man of god was preaching that day that my pastor pastor I did it's just like the man is seeing my picture knowing where i'm coming from every and the man does not know me preaching about his own life knowing that he was talking about me so i just knew this is a time to give up so I gave, I said, Lord, I'm giving you, because the man said he gave his life to Christ for six months. And he, he did it. I said, God, I'm going to give you six months too. The way this man has given you, if anything, no change, I am going back. <laughs> but before four months, everything turned around. Oh, my God. So that I'm here today. Oh, my God. You see, when I, there is great gain in serving God. There is great gain in serving God. There is great gain in in yielding totally you yielded totally yeah. and just like you said in four months yeah, in four everything, months, everything turned. Right. so it, it doesn't matter your past has nothing to, to do, do yes. god is not interested you know is this morning i i had posted something and i said come just as you are yeah no one was perfect hmm. no one is perfect hmm. no one will ever be perfect, perfect yeah. but god loves us just the way we are i celebrate you for Thank sharing you so your testimony mm -hmm. with us and this is the last question. <laughs> so if anyone is going to walk up to you, maybe like an upcoming musician like yourself, and you say, okay, what's, what can I do? What is the one thing you think I can do to help my career, to help me build, just like you have built yourself today? The only thing I would tell people or anybody watching me right now, you must have a Twitter in your life. Mm. You must have somebody that guides you. You must have a ministry. You must be loyal to your ministry. You know, a lot of young artists today, they just want to blow. Mm. They just want to go to, they don't listen, they say, the Spirit of God give me, like I say, the Spirit of God, no, they talk to other people. You must have somebody that, you must have a pastor, a mentor. a mentor, somebody that, no matter, you know, you cannot just live your life like that. You cannot just be working because you are good, you're good in singing, your voice. 
I don't want to know how to sing. I don't want, um, I don't, I tell my people, I say, me, I don't want to know how to sing anything. I want God to sing through me. And that's the best. According to his spirit. And that's the best. That's why I don't care if I use my song as Yoruba or English, whatever. God knows how to interpret it to Chinaman. His spirit is, we are not dealing with a man here. We are mm -hmm. dealing with God. If you know God, you know this is not our mate. Mm -hmm. He knows how to do his thing. You know, so you must have somebody you look, you must have a coach, a life coach, a spiritual coach. Then you must learn how to listen to your leaders. And you must serve. You cannot, if you don't serve. You know, a lot of people don't want to serve. Mm. If they come to your church now, maybe a year for five, more, five years and nothing happened there. Church is not anybody's problem. You bring your problem to church, we are the one that will solve it. God is the one that will solve it. Church is like hospital. <laughs> you, 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 you're sounding like you've listened to me before. I don't, you know, that is recently my movement, I was you know? sharing with people and I was like, see, this is a hospital. Yeah, we, know where, yeah. we have come here for to God receive, yeah. to treat us. And if anybody so is if in you church, come and you think you will find perfection in church, church no, yeah, yeah, yeah. then you, you, you have don't the know. wrong message. What will make you perfect is the word of God. It's the word. It's the word of God. That's just it. I tell people, it's the church that sent me to prison. It's the church that sent me to go and sleep in someone's house. At the end of the day, it's the church that saved me. So when you are in church, calm down. Relax. The woman of God or the man of God you are seeing on your people, there was a time they were rough. God shaped them. Wait till you, are, you be shaped. It's just simple. I don't. I, I do street gospel. I have a movement called Street Gospel Movement. Mm, That's what we do. I, I I I go to, out there to preach for tout. You know, the people that people don't want to talk to. Talk to yeah. you know because that's where I'm from. You know, so I have a, God has given me language for them, and I thank God. There's a lot of even all my guys. You see them. They are all from different angle or the mm, other. Then we are together you. today. I, I, so you. we 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 preach raw gospel. I don't pet you for Christ. God is too expensive to be cheap. So if you are looking for someone that will be petting you to come to church, oh, say, we are not having time. The church, that's why the Bible says the there way to... There is no time! The, the way to <laughs> heaven is narrow. God is not even looking for crowd. So the way of the destruction is very big. So when we are begging you to come, just behave. We are not your problem. I, it's true. I, you can oh be funny. God. But church is not anybody's problem, you know. The way everybody blame pastors, I, you know. I have a movement for that. C-I-N-T-P movement. Church is not the problem. You have your problem. Now only God will stop your problem. Don't push your problem on me. If you know me, if you think you know about testimony or they know you, because I've not given you something, you want to leave church open. Can, can, can you move? Somebody else will come. Because it's according to spirit I give. Yeah. So if you, are, if you calm down, God will locate you. Mm -hmm. And God sees our mind. God sees the mind. It's a spirit. God is spirit. I tell people, there are a lot of people who look at me, a young guy, uh, you just came and you are scattered. I say, God knows, say, I don't get anybody. Now only I'm a get. So, and I follow him madly, stupidly. Yeah. I don't care, I can remove my but They know me when we are preaching on the street of Lagos, we are like mad person. We, police cannot stop us. Gospel. Ah, yeah, yeah, they all beat us, all gospel. my mouth has break. I have a lot of pictures, they will beat me, we will still preach. Say, yeah, I cannot go back to where I'm coming from. Oh, for God. Yeah, we are moving forward. And that's why it is. So whatever. everybody watching, all the young guys, sing your song for God, don't sing your song for pastor. God knows how to make your song blow. Mm. You are singing song, I've been singing in that church for long. I've been singing, they don't help me. Hello? It's not pastor you are coming to sing for. You are singing it for God. Face God. Uh -huh. If you start singing your pastor as God, then you, you miss it. Mm, yes. Don't true. put your hope in any man. Don't put your hope. Instead of that, put your pastor into prayer. I say, Lord, reveal me to my man of God. I prayed that prayer for many years. Because in my church where I'm from, if pastor, Christ does talk about you, it's like you don't mean anything. I say, Lord, if truly you send me here, you know how to break protocol for me. Mm. And truly, one he day, was broken. I was the same, my man of God that was not like pigeon was the one interpreting my pigeon in the yes. Holy Ghost. In fact, I watched uh, one of your... The one he jumped up. <laughs> he has to jump up. There was a I fasting for that. Yes. Yes, he has to jump and up. And I heard how you fast sometimes two weeks with your men yeah, no, before play. you, you know, how you don't come even to minister without no, fasting. No, no, no. Do and you know, when you even won their word, <laughs> you know, and not on top of that, on top of the recognition, the monetary part of it, $25,000. We spent it after two that weeks. Time. After three weeks, we, I think it was January, we did a one Jesus, one church, one hallelujah. We had over 15,000. All the money was in wine. We, bless, we, yes. we use, we got marwa for widows, we did everything. I know generally Your God did, I invested 15 million, God gave me 55 million. Mm. Within two weeks. Give. 
and you shall receive That's for the same it. measure with which you give <laughs> so it's 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 evident yeah. you're you're a living proof that yes, serving ma. god yes. worshiping him giving him praise, praise him. giving him the 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 the, the, the love yes, and the respect sir. that is yes. due to his name yes. you're a living example yes. for the you know for the power of worship. our god what, our god is too god expensive he, he is is you he have is. to watch it oh yeah katera you, you have to watch the god him. is not a your day <laughs> like people, yeah, yeah. You know, people want to worship God because the one person is worshiping God. Mm. I don't worship God because you worship. I worship God because it's my duty. The That's only thing I'm he can give himself. The only thing. Sometimes in my room, I don't even. I, I, I came to this word naked. What am I praising God with? It's because we are in church like this. When in my room, all my guys know me. We are there raw. We are we, we we praise God raw. Passion. We don't, I don't, sure. I, I don't apologize when I'm praising my God. Mm. You, are do, you are not, I don't see any man. That's why God will bless you without looking at any man. Mm. You know, he, he does not need anybody's permission to, you, you, you like me does not change God's love for me. You, you hate me does not change God's love for me. We are dealing with spirit here. I know my God is a God of spirit. If he can bring me out from prison, a boy that does not finish university, somebody, Pastor Chris put me on salary of five million naira. For good one year, a boy that couldn't afford a house or afford anything, suddenly things change around. Who are you to? What are you? What do you want to, you want to tell me? I can bite somebody because of this. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> no, man. I'm not joking for this. Oh, I'm not joking. You, God is you. not. I, I, I love God madly. Your testimony is amazing. I'm telling you, man. I don't know. If, some people will say, I'm scared to die. If Jesus Christ can spend 30, 33 or 32 and years. I see the impact. The impact. He made. I don't want to live. You see, long life is my is God duty. It's my life. Yeah. But there's the way God wants to use me. Mm. If, as a Muslim, because I came from a Muslim background, I know what I'm saying. I'm you from cannot a tell me. Background like, I well. finished so Quran. My have... father is a big show. Mm. Then my grandma is the head of Elewi Omo. When you talk about Elewi, me the head of the Bug 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 Bug. So the, all my body is being caught by different things. So now I'm in Christ. So you, there's nothing you want to tell me about the three religions. I love Jesus madly. What attracted Been there, me? Done that. You know, so, so you cannot tell me. Sometimes I would trek from here to Kutoni just because we are looking for Juju. So what do you want to tell me? And this is a God that I've not even give one palm or to. <laughs> and everything in my life changed. I can't. I, I cannot You're say. You're amazing, I can't it. and I love, I love your heart. I love your sincerity. No, no. It, it speaks volume. God is too real to me. I to know. Be I know people will be blessed. Yeah. This, this series is special. People will be blessed. Thank you, thank, thank you, you so, so very much. I can't wait for us to get into, pro, you know, worship proper, proper. Thank, thank you so very, grateful, very much. I'm grateful. Praise God. Hallelujah. I am speaking to a man who cannot be stereotyped. People like him are the reason why we do what we do. I know he has inspired you just as much as he has inspired me. So stay tuned. We'll be right back with worship being led by the amazing, <laughs> phenomenal, sensational Testimony Jaza. Thank you so much. To watch the worship session of the worship experience with Pastor Deborah Omale featuring Testimony Jaga, search for the next video on the YouTube channel Pastor Deborah Emmanuel Omale and please like, share and hit the subscribe button. Let our worship rise continuously.